Hello my YouTube family and friends. This is Tammy with Southern Angels Boutique. Uh, I just wanted to share with you some Christmas cards um, I finally got made here. Uh, kind of last minute. Um, but I did these last night. I just kind of sat down. I felt like doing a little something. Uh, wanted to make some cards. And uh, so I could send out to a a few of my uh, YouTube friends and family so these are what I made and um, I just wanted to share them with you see what y'all y'all thought I made about four of them last night and I'm gonna make probably a few more I got family members I need to make some too. I've just been so um, sick and out of it this holiday. I haven't gotten to do a lot, so I hope by next holiday, I'm probably, um, I really hope that I can do these actually before Christmas gets here next year. Like do them throughout the year and have them collected so that I'll have plenty of them. And then um, I can, you know, like just send them out to uh, just, you know, random people. I would, I would love to uh, send these to people that don't normally get Christmas cards. Um, you know, like people in the nursing homes or prison or um, people you know, like, who are serving our country, you know, stuff like that. Um, I, I love to give to people, and, um, this is what some of them look like in the inside, I was going to show you. Um, I love to share things and give to people, especially around the holidays, and I've, I've just been so sick this year, I haven't gotten to do a lot of that, and so it's really caused me to be just kind of blue and a little depressed, because, not being able to give like I like to give and all. Um, so, that being said, you know, when I can't give to others and share um, things and do for others, it just really kind of saddens me um, because I've always been such a giving person I, I just I just love to give and share things um, and uh, make people happy so when I can't make other people happy I don't feel happy and um, so it's it's been kind of a, a sad holiday for me since I haven't been able to you know sp spread Christmas cheer so anyway uh, because of being so sick um, but anyway, hopefully uh, next year will be better. Um, but I did have a little fun making these last night. It took me quite a while. Um, you know, because I still wasn't feeling good last night. So I just kind of piddled with them and all. These uh, were some little colors. I colored these with uh, my Spectrum Noir markers like these. And I'm um, kind of close. Sorry about that. Uh, just the little sp Spectrum Noir markers that I've had. And, um, just, just played around, colored them, uh, out of, let's see, where's the, it was just a little coloring book that I had. Uh, it was a hot off the press coloring book that I got. Um, they have several different ones, as you can see here, and I think I've got two of them. Um, let's see. I've got the Christmas ornaments here, and um, I, I really would like to get this was uh, Christmas greetings. This one right here, I'd like to get that one. Um, let's see. Um, trying to remember if I've got the butterflies or the floral garden. 
I know I've got one of them um, in my uh, coloring book stash, but there's two of each, and what I would really like to do um, before I, I've, all, I've gotten two out, that one and that one, uh, before I start using them all up, uh, and these are nice, they give you a little ideas. And, uh, and they're nice, sturdy cardstock. I like these little coloring books. Um, there's 14 sheets, 6 unique designs, 2 of each. And there's 18 labels and tags. Um, see what, what it is. Um, but before I start using like all of those up, I would like to copy them off on some cardstock, print them out on some cardstock. These are really heavy duty too, so that's why you can actually use your Spectrum Wars on these and your alcohol markers um, because they're so heavy duty. Um, so that that's nice. A lot of those coloring books you get, they're too thin. You can't do that. Um, this one I used, um, well, let me go back to this one, finish up. After I used the uh, alcohol markers, uh, I don't have enough light in here, so you're not going to be able to see it real well. Um, I should be in my craft room when I'm downstairs, but I don't know if you can, here we go. You see the shine? I did use some Linka Stella. I used the Christmas ones. See the shine on it? Just a little wink of Stella on the ornaments. I'm sorry I'm moving my camera around so much. Um, I have these. I have a plain one, but I had bought these first um, last year. The green, the red, and the white. And uh, I like them when you're going over colors like this for the Christmas. They're nice. You can see how well they work on those colors, and um, and that way you save your your clear one because your clear one you you use you can use on anything. But when you're working on the, like these these green reds and and uh, the white, see, I just used on the lighter. Um, so that, this worked real well. Uh, and then I just backed it with some uh, of that glitter cardstock. And a tip for you, uh, I cut the center of my cardstock out so that um, on most of these, so that I did not waste um, so much of the... Uh, like on this one here, this is the center of that cardstock, and um, especially like this. I don't know where the center is. This one, um, in that way, it did stick down better too, since this was glitter. Um, and then, of course, I used some little pop-up dots, squares, to help pop this up, and uh, some of these little gems and they were sitting here I think they just came from like the Dollar Tree those little gems um, I used them on these berries also and the same thing uh, this I did color with my chalks these right here are the pebbles and uh I have the pearl, pearlescent ones also, but um, I went ahead and used just the bright shades. And then used Wink of Stella on top to give it that little shine, if you can see it. Let's see, maybe it'll show up. You can see a little bit of it. 
and uh, then the outside of the car is actually the um, pieces from I think this piece of cardstock here so there's that card uh, let's see. and then this one here is um, one of the embossing folders and I colored it with the chalks and there's that uh, die that I showed y'all before that I got from eBay and then I used some of these little embellishments that I found in my stash and I thought that turned out really good and I just brushed uh, some of my uh, antique linen I believe it was on the uh, front of the card just I like brushed a little bit of that and let's see, this one, I used a snowflake embossing folder and just used a little bit of a silver ink, just dabbed it over right out of the ink pad, to bring it, the snowflakes out more. And these were actually stickers out of my stash I found. And it had, this was the snow, so I just made my own snow, used this as a pattern, made my own snow, and just pop dot everything up from it. So, that's how I made that one. And I did Wink of Stella on this one too. So that one, you could see it in the light. One really sparkles the snow, especially because I really covered that snow in that white wink of Stella. So that is the four cards that I've done so far. So y'all can let me know what you think of those in the comments below. Tell me how you like them. Which one's your favorite? So I want to try and do some more. I ran out of the my large uh, card bases, so now I have to just use the A2 size when I make more. So I'm not happy about that. I thought I had more of these of this size. I like this size better, but that's okay. These make nice size cards too. I think most people do make these. And then I just put my uh, information and Merry Christmas with December 2016 on the back. So, I really like this one. I think this one's probably my favorite right here. I like how that came out. So y'all tell me which one's y'all's favorite. And, um, oh, here the, yeah, here's this colors I was using. I think they came from Dollar Tree. They had different colors. And how I keep my embellishments like that. I like keep them in their colors, like all my red beads, pearls, or whatever. I got all my reds and pinks here in this bag like this. And then that way I don't need to go searching. You know, brass and everything's in here. Anything that's red or pink, brass, pearls, uh, gems, anything like that is all in here. And then I'm going to scare them in my red drawer and pulled this out and I got the I just brought it down. That worked out real well. I didn't have to go searching for it. I knew right where it was. So that's why I've been keeping my uh, colored embellishments. I keep all the colors together now instead of keeping brads with brads and pearls with pearls. Gems with gems. 
I keep them all color colorized now and uh, I, I think I'm finding that a lot easier so and ribbon with ribbon I keep everything color coordinated and uh, it's making it a lot easier now when I'm wanting to uh, make things and then putting it away I just go put it back with the uh, in the color drawer it came from okay guys that's it and um, hope you enjoyed this video and let me know what you think please share and um, please give me a thumbs up if you like this and I will see you next time and have a blessed and Merry Christmas. Bye now.